Disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Are not allowed in here. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. <laughs> well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Those Asari commandos are impressive. Lightly armored, but their speed more than makes up for it. Unless that speed lets them outrun bullets, I'm more inclined to stick with nice <laughs> oh. and a big gun. What the fuck? Point taken. I think I'm looking at a YouTube tank pots. I don't got a level at the first video. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... Have you summoned the demon? Don't waste your time. Summoned the demon, right? 
Ik heb een aan die monden slagen, ik heb die microfoon. Don't waste your time, kid. Run away now, while you still can. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? No? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! <laughs> you got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower. Say, so you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. Will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women, Kate. Not now, but it's human military, huh? Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. 
Last I heard, he was going back there. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife Hello. is so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Hello, you know. but next time you're on Earth, yeah, yeah, what do you mean with the hundred? Thanks again. What do you have with me, Oli? Now, no. 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 Så når jeg endelig føler, at jeg begynder at blive en smule sulten, så har jeg været nede og købt mig et uh, yoghurt uh, fremmesbrød, bare til at sidde og æde for at få mavesyren til at gå væk. Mhm. Mm uh. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Hvad hedder du? I've been hunting Min for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Yeah, I can walk on numbers down. I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better oh, shot with you. Turn up the ting. Woo! Turn up the ting! I'm back on a cruise when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know I'm investigating oh, anything here on the side? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard, before it gets around. Next year's 10. Emol Plus? Eh, what for now? This here is Emol Plus. No promises. But if I find anything related to the case, I'll be able to find out if you come to eat two pills in a day, and you'll end up with the whole organ system. You'll end up with a doctor and you'll be able to say that it's extremely dangerous for the system, and that it's extremely dangerous for the system, and that it's extremely dangerous for the system, and that it's extremely dangerous for the system. Hvad har du lyst til at spille? Dang, fly! Kampbogen! Hvad tiger er der med amerikanerne? Det kan jeg ikke huske. 23. Så passer det med med... Åh, hvad fanden var det der? Din engelske! Jeg skal lige vågne op! Så har jeg været vågnet siden 6-tiden. Nå, der kommer rabat på den På de britiske Nej, men på de britiske med Vyshøs, der er den der rabat på Jeg spawner med A og B 
be. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. I know those men threatened you. We have cheered. Tell us who they work for. We can protect you. They work for the best. They wanted to... A crewmate take my time gate. What the fuck? What quarian? A few days ago, a quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? We sit on a server with 200 ping. 300 ping. He's an agent of the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Sam. Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Is this the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Yeah, man, I'm trying to find a way in. So, in the end, something Sam wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Jeg skal ikke dig, det var sku. Jeg blev skubbet af M103 herinde bag mig. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. Ja, ikke lige den der O. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to the people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. Well, in the hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. I don't know why I'm going to be able to smell a fortuitous kylling. And I haven't been able to smell a kylling for a month. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thoughts. Yeah, I'm back in Krop. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay, well, I still got a 420,000 on my fucking guy. Where are you laughing? Yeah, there are you. There are another to pay for medicine to spice her. Take a banana. You're a doctor. I chose to keep the medical tradition. I'll be going. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talk. Uh, you have three, four tanks around front B now. Jeg har sgu chancen nu her Du har også en bim herovre på højre side af dig Eller venstre side Åh, der er numf Ah, der går du blokeret med et skud jeg tror ikke engang jeg vil kunne dræbe noget For at være ærlig Det er jo høje penge lort Jeg critter noget Nem 103 er der noget Nej det er en tank jeg skal dræbe I saw the monument at a coup. Yeah, but you blocked him with coup for him on a train. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. My name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to be here, Commander. 
What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Strange. The Geth are attacking. I mean, so they just slam some shit together. You're military, Chief Williams. They're civilians. Civilians never believe the enemy is coming until they're at the gates. Maybe <laughs> para. Jeg er lige ned af med det samme. Der har du større chance for, når du retter ud, i at du ikke bliver ramt. Øh, eller hvad? Eller hvad? Nej, vi er ikke for mig. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want oh. me to arrest you? I want you to try. Well, who's this? But what if tanks you don't take on? Get out of right. here. Do I know you, human? That's why go as I spill three, spill left to die. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> come up rank nine. Shepherd, Commander Shepherd. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepherd. I give that guy two warriors. Thanks, Jefferson. I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. <laughs> Let's find go. Find the enemy of your enemy, then you'll find a friend. I fist waiting. I think it kill yay! <laughs> oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. Talk and this. I thought we were friends. Why oh, didn't he How do you know he nice. wants you dead? Final blow. He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore. And he's better heard on the normal. Following me. It's a final blow. Nice. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home. Just waiting for a chance. That's you three. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is, and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Hello. Oh, about a cargo. Yeah, yeah. The alpha is all ready to go. I 
tænkte, det kunne være, at det var en fejl, at trykke red i russerne, jo. Nej, ja, men 7 3 op til 120, jo. Jeg kører ned mod C. Jeg 162 har mm APDF. Nej, PDS, FS. Ja, der er hellere at sidde og lege med den, når det er 73, og vi bliver optiret. Bom, spawner jeg lige ind, var vimp. Jeg har sådan en victory streak på nu. Jeg er lykke med at få den op på fuld. Jeg kan se ham, men jeg kan ikke få et markering, øh, markering på Where's the Corian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Man, all kid. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Corian is, but I know where the Corian is. Fight, fight, fight. Then why up the fight? I assume that ain't here. Said you'd only deal with the shadow broker. Kill you, but I'm still in you. Face to face, impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the shadow broker ever. Even I don't know his true. Yeah, I'm just gonna end there. You're sex there, old man. I told her I'd send you. Yeah, but I'm all stem pencil thing. Yeah, I'm really round. Ha ha ha! Really, really round. That's the most important motor. Give me the location. Yeah, thank. I can't get my pencil. Give me the location. Yeah, thank. I can't get my pencil. 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 Yeah, i don't lead jobs. Men de kan så ikke gå igennem mig her, hvor jeg holder, fordi det er kun mit tårn, de kan ramme. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Hvad er det nu her? Hvad er det nu her? Hvad skulle det røre om? Selvfølgelig. Ah, det ved jeg. No cover! At all!
I'm on it. I've lost shields. Do I want? Well. Jeg går bare over den her ikke er jo 100% Ja Du har været tre forsøg til at få den første streak eller alt andet inden den Ja Tre forsøg Det betyder du skal vende Ja inden for de første tre kampe Ja Vi er bare nødt til at ud af at fatte nogle af zonerne her altså Det har ikke været så svært Ja jo der er 10-32 der holder camper Stort set alt Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Yolo! Hostile contact! Oh, we're gonna go for the AIB. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. No way. You're not making my life fist. easy, Shepard. That's why I hope I get your heart ache for God. Hey, I'm going to ask for a Go better. Who's this? Mine. Quarian? Mine. What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. 
Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. <coughs> this is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. When we... Commander Shepard, my <coughs> name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they Just refuse your request? Everything. There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Shepard, what can I do for you now? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. <laughs> ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Oh, Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Det skulle jo eksistere, måske lad det ikke det, jeg skal. Det have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, We'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years.
I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosca? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Norelli. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. I'm not going to go against the military, Mr. Batya. I can't help you. Nirali always said that the military sticks together. <laughs> Why should this be any different? I knew my wife might one day give her life for the military. I did not think you would take her body as well. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. 
If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you. <laughs> Honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive huh? from justice, so you are armed with any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Uh. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. Ah, you get access cool. to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Right behind you, Shepard. Greetings, Earth Clan. 
I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. A word of warning, though. There are many eyes watching you now, Commander. Some of them <laughs> want to see you fail. I, however, wish you only success. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan <laughs> one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Så vi kan få et plateau ud over her. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. What did he say? Den her, vi skal have væk. Ja, ja. Ja, det vil så sige, så skal vi lige se her, hvad gør vi her? Fordi vi skal jo sådan set falde den nede i bunden. Den anden kan jo selvfølgelig køre på ydersiden op. Septimus har sendt ordet, at apparently han sendte konsultens forgivning. Skal vi lige sige... Velkommen. Det er en pleasure at se dig. You're with the Alliance? My brother's in private, back on Earth. 4, 8, 12, 16. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. 4, 8, Thank you for speaking with him. 12. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only ah. forms the basis for your future greatness. <laughs> Remember these words when doubt is You have quite a gift, Cheira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. Det står en lille, lille smule tættere end den, den her, kan jeg se. They will give you strength. Take a seat if you like. It may be a while. Please, relax and enjoy. Okay, I'm eager to. I see even the humans find the consort here. Hello again. The consort is very pleased with everything that you have done for her. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back any time.
Ja, 8% tilbage på min mobil. Kom, <laughs> mm. jeg skal sætte den til laden. Det vil sige, den der i hvert fald. Så kan vi køre deroppe. Øh, Nej, det kan vi ikke den der. Så det kan ikke lade sig gøre. How do I do this? How do I do this? Øh... Jo, det gør vi på den her vej her. Der. Walls. Der. Wall in. Så er vi den der. Ej, det var ikke den... ...men jeg lukker. Den var der. Sådan! Nu løste jeg det. Det ser faktisk rimelig godt ud, sådan som jeg laver det lige nu. Synes jeg selv. Vores nye gavekort funktion er gratis for all business e-handler. Jeg skal lige se her, så tager vi lige den her, så sætter vi en kul der, så vi kan se hvad vi laver. Kommer vi ind i der. Can't connect to each other. Ah, that could be so good. I want to focus on. Comments and we understood once again how tired you must be of all these repeated apologies. The project manager staff themselves were heartbroken that we had to share those news with you when we thought we were just one step away from releasing the game. And even though we know this might feel like an empty word to many, uh, we feel the need to apologize to you all once more. We are still currently investigating the cause of the newly discovered bug during the finalization process of, and we are working to resolve it with the help of both our in-house engineer and new and a new external development company that let us the help. Although we are not able to give you the defined release date yet, we will continue to provide frequent update and report regardless of how big big or small the processes the processes yeah they have played for me well 5 6 or on rise or all they should do was fucking just this there and oversette it from japanese to english and then write a few english files spell it was already developed you are going to give the apron Altså, det kan godt være, at de har noget problem i forhold til myndighederne. Så er det sgu nok ikke så let, som vi går og tror. Er der lovs, der er blevet brugt her? Jeg er ikke unreasonable. 
The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I can mm, talk to no. the Hanar for you. I have argued with oh, yeah, stubborn... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. <laughs> They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would... Any progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just... Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. If the Protheans wanted you to force your message on the unwilling, they'd have said so. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. <laughs>